Rodman, average Joe can do it if he wants to, and you can do it right here in Houston. All you gotta do is head downtown near the jail, find a abandoned warehouse, and listen for all the noise. <laughs> Want some of me? Want some of me? Well, this is the place to get it. That ain't good on your kidneys, is it? Not good on your kidneys. This is Tugboat Taylor's Wrestling School. When it's 100 degrees outside and about 110 inside, nothing feels staged. Nothing sounds fake. You have a partner. Hammers and chops, man. Hammers and chops. All you see is flying sweat and shredded chest, but that question hangs in the air. Does it bother you when the word fake is put in there? I don't like that word fake. <laughs> no. That's hot man. That, that's one thing you're going to talk about a man's uh, livelihood is called fake. That's a big boy's foot. You want to get in here with me right now? Do you think it's fake? <laughs> Do they think it's fake? They can come down to my gym right here and I'll show them how fake it is and see if they can take these bodies. Take that punishment. Ask my son Chad. My son's had his seven stables in his head, his knees busted up, uh, ankle broke. This is the way professional wrestling began. Legitimate wrestling moves. You got a big handful there now, Chad. <laughs> to get over there. Combined with show business. Life is show business, yeah. When you get up in the morning, you gotta put on, whatever you gotta do, you gotta put on a face. Because even though you might not want to go do that thing, you gotta go do it to make a living. Well, this may have a glamorous appeal. It appeals not to these guys. Wes Kimball has worn the uniform of the Chicago Bears and Oakland Raiders, but he dreamed of being in the ring, dreamed to get a chance to meet, just meet him. Now, he's taught me everything he knows, so it's going to be in you one day, big baby. <laughs> That's right. But he may think I taught him everything he knows, but he did. I didn't teach him everything I know. Uh, that is the key, is it not? Tugboat began professional wrestling back in 1980. Says he doesn't like the sex and vulgarity that's involved in the sport today. As a result, beginning October 10th, over at Hoffine's Pavilion, Tugboat and his guys are going to put on their form of professional wrestling. They hope it turns into a weekly event. Kind of like extra points. We'll be back right after this.